This is the Dynaco ST70 and here I have taken the bottom cover off. I'm going to replace some capacitors but while I had it open I put a few drops of WD-40 on the variable controls that are in the center of this picture and one or two drops on the switch at the bottom right. Now I've turned on the light so I can see where the capacitors are and these are the capacitors that I'm going to replace the six black capacitors here and here they are replaced. I was going to replace the electrolytic capacitors but the replacements that I have are too large and will not fit underneath the chassis and the electrolytic can is also too small. In other words I can't empty out the can and put the electrolytics in there. So I went back on eBay and found an exact replacement that can capacitor so we're gonna have to wait on that. This is the wiring diagram of the ST70 and the input signal enters here to the control grid of one half of the 7199 and that part of the tube amplifies the signal and is directly coupled over to the control grid of the triode of the 7199 and again that amplifies it and now we have two signals here that go over to the control grids of the LE34 output tubes. Each one of those tubes amplifies in a push-pull configuration and here is our B plus connection. Now something that I want to point out here is we've got two more connections from the primary of the audio output transformer right here goes to the center grid. Now that connection uh, makes the audio output more linear in its performance. If you go back all the way to the left at the input, I want to go through the phasing of this audio output amplifier. If we have the phase starting like this, it goes to the control grid of the 7199 and its output is 180 degrees out of phase. Now that of course goes to the control grid of the triode of the 7199. But look what happens here. At the plate it's 180 degrees out of phase from the control grid and the cathode is in phase with the control grid. Now we have our 180 degrees out of phase signals to drive the two output tubes. These two signals at the control grids of the EL34s are amplified and they are 180 degrees out of phase on the transformer and this is where the push-pull gets its name. When one tube is going positive, the other tube is going negative and vice versa. So each tube is pushing and pulling that signal on the audio output transformer. This looks like a very nice design and I'm really looking forward to hearing this amplifier. Thanks for watching.